Scrolls Infinite Series. I've never seen anything like them. From an Indian clerk, ill-educated in Madras, I would very highly value any advice you give me. Pure mathematicians, it, I have learned, are people who study it literally as an art, see where it takes them. The mathematics is incredibly difficult to grasp, if not impossible for someone like myself. Um, we had a really amazing guy called Ken Ono who um, guided us through the, the complexities of it all, um, taught me a couple equations that I could write out lightning fast. I, I used to practice that every night with a friend of mine. I've also helped with the tweaking of the script here and there to emphasize the right important mathematical discoveries. I've, I've had the opportunity to discuss you know, some very critical scientific lines with both Jeremy Irons and Deb Patel, and you know, it's, it's, it's been great. We need proofs of your work. But they are right, sir. I hadn't completed that proof. How do you know? I just do. Jeremy and Dev, they had off-the-wall chemistry, and I have sort of always said this is a love story, and it, really the love story is between the two of them. And I don't think we see that too often in film, and when it can happen between um, two people that are, you know, mentor, student, or in a different kind of a way, it can be pretty powerful um, when men sort of reveal a more sensitive side that you don't often see in film these days. Oh, no. God and I don't see exactly eye to eye. So if I prepare for rain, then it won't. So far, so good. I am hardy, and I'm spending the afternoon in the Wren Library. Now we're sure to have sunshine. But, but Matt had a very good handle on the level of uh, the team he wanted to surround himself with, and I think that was important on a first-time director's job is to give him people that have the experience in Matt. The project was so appealing was the, the idea of working with somebody um, like Ed who is such a legendary producer and who discovered people like Terrence Malick and Oliver Stone and Brian De Palma. I realized over time that this film was about the cost that comes when two people wait out of fear to connect in their relationships, which is tragic and you see it all the time in life, but you really saw it between these two people. It's a bittersweet triumph at the end of the film.